Hello, my friend. This is Victor Piccini, and welcome to the Be Seen and Heard journey. Videos and audios that will empower you. Hey, it's Victor. Welcome to another Be Seen and Heard journey. Thank you for joining me today. I'm so grateful and I'm so honored that you're able to watch this video. And I hope you do get a chance to read the blog and I'll get to that in just a second. But today, I want to talk about having a vision. And I want to talk specifically about how I got from where I started when I was eight years old to this very day where I'm helping kids. I get to empower children to have a voice and to be seen and heard. Well, for me, it started when I was eight years old. I started singing on stage in front of hundreds and at times thousands of people doing a tribute to Elvis. And I won't get into how I got started, but I, I, it's just amazing how things work out the way they do. But I had a chance to start performing as what I was called Little Elvis. And what I didn't know at the time, it was really building my confidence to be able to do what I'm doing today. So as I got older, I realized the importance of going to college and getting a degree. That's something I really wanted. And I completed that in 1995. I got a degree in graphic design from Columbia. And I was really starting my career while I still performed on the weekends. Well, then I started thinking to myself, I mean, there's more to me than sitting in front of a computer. I have a vision. I don't know what it is, but I have something I, I know. I have a burning desire in my heart to do something extraordinary, especially something that is important to me. And at that time, I had gone through a lot of obstacles in my life from my abuse to living with a father who had an alcohol problem. And it was just well, it was a roller coaster, basically. And so I decided to take a little time and I went to a school to help out as an aide, thinking that maybe I wanted to be a teacher. So I was leaning towards working with kids, but I didn't know at that time. And then one day I had a chance to perform for all the kids at the school. And a little boy with Down syndrome came up to me one day and he said, hey, Mr. Piccini, I hear you're singing on Friday. I said, yes, I am. He's like, could I sing with you? And I didn't know, but that was my vision. I didn't even realize it yet. That day, when I performed for those kids, I brought up Matt and he sang a song called Johnny Be Good with the audience. And, and all the kids, after he was finished, gave him a standing ovation. They just got up and started clapping and they didn't see a boy with Down syndrome. They didn't see a boy with any kind of difficulties at all. They saw a boy with courage and potential and confidence and they were so excited and he changed their lives. And he changed my life because that day was a day that a teacher came up to me and said, you know, you have something here. And I said, what is it? You have this ability to connect with kids from kindergarten all the way up. And I said, oh, and then it started to come to me. And I started thinking to myself, what do I really want to do with my life? And then I started writing more and I started creating poems and uh, turning into lyrics. And then I met people that, that wrote music for me. And, and that became the way that I connect with kids. And so the vision for what I do is to go to schools all over the country, whether it's online, in person, live stream, and we help kids to be seen and heard. And it started with an idea that I had. I just started working it and I started uh, just writing out what I wanted. And then it turned into, it was just me. And then my wonderful assistant, Priscilla, came into my life. She had already been in my life when I was eight, but she came into my life in a different way. She said, hey, do you need help? And I'm like, yeah. So she became my assistant where she works the other end of my business. And then it's grown. And now I have Deanna who's writing the blogs that you're reading. And she's also presenting in schools with me and telling her story and empowering kids. And now my vision's even greater. I've brought on Rosie Cataldo as my director of outreach. And she's helping me get the word spread out to schools all over the United States. And she has a vision. And she has the ability to get up in front of kids and to help them be seen and heard, to give them the tools and to help them have confidence to not be voiceless. And so this blog that I would love for you to read is our highlight of the month where we're going to actually interview Rosie and you're going to hear all about her vision and everything that she wants to do to empower children. Okay. So I want to thank you so much for taking the time to be with me today. I had a lot of fun really thinking about this idea because I love to create and I love to set goals and to have deadlines of what I want to accomplish. And I hope you do too. But one thing that I know for certain is at the end of the day, I have one goal.
and that's to help children, no matter how old they are, to be seen and heard. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Hey, my friend, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Be Seen and Heard journey. If you'd like to follow me, please go to youtube.com forward slash Victor Piccini or instagram.com forward slash childhood victories or head over to facebook.com forward slash childhood victories or visit my website, victorpiccini.com. Please share this with your friends and family. And until next time, be seen and heard.